Patrol started out like any other morning. However, this morning was pretty special because we still had a turtle ashore just after 6.30 laying eggs at the inlet. We stood by as she laid the eggs and then began to cover, using those dexterous back flippers to pat the sand back on top of the eggs. It is important if you come across a sea turtle to keep a distance of at least 30 feet in order to ensure the turtle does not get disturbed. Her final stages of covering is when she uses her front flippers to fling sand backwards to hide any evidence of her nest. Then, once it's covered to her liking, she heads back to the ocean, leaving those eggs to incubate for about 45 to 60 days. The hatchlings then are all on their own. They are all instinct-based, so they just know what to do. This is really her only motherly duties. The incredible thing is loggerhead turtles will lay three to five nests a season with about two weeks in between each nest. So she may be back in two weeks time to do the same process again. Unfortunately, she laid too low as she wasn't able to get up this steep scarp. It is laid below the spring high tide line and was in need of relocation. We are permitted to conduct these activities through permits. Very carefully, one egg at a time, we move this nest to a new and safer location. We measure the depth of the chamber to recreate it as best we can. There were 114 eggs that she laid. Then one egg at a time again, it goes into that newly dug chamber at higher ground. So too many washovers can be harmful to the eggs and so that is our reason for relocation. Then just like the mama turtle did, we put sand on top and pack it in so those eggs are protected. We are a part of a genetics project through the University of Georgia with Dr. Brian Shamblin. This occurs in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and parts of Florida, where one egg is taken from each new nest and sent away in a vial of ethanol with the nest number. So they can actually determine which turtle laid this particular nest. It is super interesting. I'll link information down below. The nest is now protected with a predator screen to keep those raccoons out, a number sign and it will then incubate. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.